Hi Sagittarians. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing a general spread for you for the rest of June. It's good for June, but I'm a little late. So I'm going to look into your current energies. If it sounds like something you're going through, this is your reading. It is good for Sagittarius Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. I am a Sag Rising. It does help round out my personality, thank goodness. But uh, find out which one resonates with you the most. Usually my sun sign does and my moon sign. All right, this is for Sagittarius spirit guides that this reading is for. Show me something they're going through or recently have gone through. What do you want to show me for my Sagittarians? Something they've gone through or are recently going through that this reading is for. What do you want to show me for the sign of Sagittarius, please? Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you. Anything else you want to show me, please, for my Sagittarians? Anything else? Anything? Thank you. Anything else? Sagittarian, what you got going on here, man? <laughs> Bottom of the deck is I have the hangman with Ace of Cups. I don't know. We got a new beginning in love here. And then I have the Eight of Swords kind of getting trapped in your thoughts. We are in Gemini season in Mercury retrograde. Everyone's going to be caught up in their thoughts about something right now. New beginning in love that you might be feeling a little upside down about. That's Piscean energy with the Hangman and the Ace of Cups. So let's find out what's going on here. First card to my left is the King of Pentacles. Solid King. Taurus energy, but it's just somebody who's very grounded maybe older than you, very mature, grounded, stable, the king of earth. I have the page of swords, air energy. This is about a, um, it could be about a new way of thinking or somebody's kind of keeping their eye on you. I think somebody is inquisitive about you. I have that ace of cups. Maybe somebody else is stuck about this new beginning in love. I don't know. But that Page of Swords, I feel that there's somebody around you that maybe you've met or are talking to or seen that is very grounded, stable, but they're keeping their eye on you. They're not sure about you. That's what I'm kind of feeling here. I don't know why. Next card out is I have the Ace of Wands. A passionate brand new beginning. A passionate brand new beginning. With judgment right next to that, that is because you have released things to rebirth new things. That is probably why the Ace of Cups is showing up. Judgment is all about releasing something, you know, that I call it releasing the dead wood so new things can grow. And I have it right next to that Ace of Wands, a passionate brand new beginning. I do have the Five of Cups showing up with the Ten of Wands. I think dwelling on things from the past with past love and spilt cups has become a burden to you. And I feel that there's a lot of Sagittarians that are releasing things. I have judgment here, you know, judgment within the Ace of Wands. It's a passionate brand new beginning that you're releasing the dead wood so new things can grow. I still got somebody watching you though that's very, maybe, I don't know, maybe just the King of Pentacles is very earthy. You know, he's the king being solid. I say, I do. <laughs> But I got the Ten of Wands with the Five of Cups. I feel that there's Sagittarians out there that are releasing things from the past that you maybe you've dwelled on. You know, because the next card out is I have the Page of Cups with the Two of Wands in reverse. The Two of Wands upright is a fire energy, but it's about uh, wanting to move forward, but being stuck where you're at, but thinking about the past, but it's in reverse with the eager Cup of Page of Love. Yeah, I think there's Sagittarians out there that are just releasing things. I have the Four of Cups having hope in that one faith, that one cup of faith and love because I have the Knight of Cups rolling in. I have it with the Knight of Cups. I, the Knights are on one mission. They come in to offer you their cup of love, the romantic, the courageous. And then you got that King of Pentacles here, but the King of Pentacles is keeping their eye on you. But if this sounds like something you're going through, you've released some stuff, you're passionate, brand new beginning, you're going after, I got the page of cups, eager to start something new because you're not stuck anymore in something. You still have coping, uh, here comes my speech, faith in that one beautiful cup of love. 
and either you're getting ready to offer your cup to somebody or somebody's coming in to offer it to you because I have it with the page cups too that's new eager love somebody younger maybe you eager to get something started in love and I got that night roaming in all right I'm gonna look at what is coming towards you now all right what are we gonna use we'll use these all right, this is uh, for the energies coming towards my Sagittarians from now to the end of June. That sounds like something you're kind of going through or been through. I got somebody watching you that's really grounded and solid. Maybe older than you. Mm -hmm. I got some love rolling in though and you're not stuck anymore and that, that dwelling on past stuff, you're over it. Mm -hmm. and some wands is here, man, with that Ace of Cups. All right, Spirit Guides. What do we have for my Sagittarians? What is rolling in from now oh, to the end of June? Thank you. What do you want to tell me for my Sagittarians? What is coming in now to the end of June for my Sagittarians? Please, Spirit Guides. Anything for Sagittarius? Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Hmm. Okay, here we go. First card that flew to my left is Strength. Leo energy. It's about being strong and courageous. I have it right next to the five of coins. And that's about someone who's feeling a little isolated and left out. But I have the moon showing up as well. And this is Piscean energy because what I'm feeling from this is um, somebody's being very strong and courageous. And the moon right now with Mercury retrograde Things are just kind of foggy and hidden and someone's feeling a little isolated. I don't know why, but they are. The next card out is I have the beautiful Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Queen of Air. You know, uses a lot of logic. Listens to what someone has to say. Oh my goodness. And I have it right next to the star, Aquarian Energy. Someone is evaluating you. Someone is evaluating you right now. This is what I'm feeling. You know, um, I just feel somebody's keeping their eye on you. Could be a Taurus, could be an Aquarius, could be a water sign. I mean, I could be a Pisces, a Leo. I just, I, and it could be, yeah. I just feel like somebody's watching you right now, getting to know you, you know, listening to what you have to say and they got a lot of hope and faith in a situation. This is coming in in June. The last card out is I have the beautiful Four of Wands. So right now, because my cards are always laid out how they're supposed to be received, someone's feeling a little isolated because things seem a little foggy. And with strength here, Leo energy, they're being very courageous and strong through something. But coming up, I have the Queen of Swords who is evaluating everything, but they have a lot of hope and faith in a situation. And then the last card out towards the end of the month is the Four of Wands. You know, this is my 1111 gateways will open, you know, and right now I feel that um, till the 22nd of June, everything's stalling out a little bit, you know, and um, but after that 22nd, we got my 1111, Four of Wands, fire energy, your energy, everything is going to open. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. But in the next week or two, the Queen of Swords, someone is analyzing something, but they have a lot of hope and faith in this situation. I don't know. It sounds like a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading, but I'm just going to get a little bit of guidance. Spirit Guides, what do you want to tell my Sagittarians about this reading today? A few cards. What would you like to tell Sagittarians? I'm going to do two shovels. This is from my spirit guides about this reading. What do you want to tell Sagittarians today, spirit guides? If you can tell them anything, what do you want to tell them today? Okay. What would you like to tell my Sagittarians? What kind of guidance about this reading? <laughs> this is the nine of wands, but I'm not taking it. All right, spirit guides, what do you want to tell my Sagittarians today? Okay. What kind of guidance? Okay. What kind of guidance do you want to tell my beautiful... Sagittarians today, please. Anything you would like to tell my Sagittarians? Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? Perfect. I wanted four cards and that's what I got. Well, I got the four of pentacles, somebody holding back. I got the seven of wands, uh, feeling like things are always coming at them. You, 
from somebody holding back. But the next card they gave me at is the lovers. It, it's a true, it's a true connection. This is Gemini energy, but they also might want to be telling you that it may seem like someone's holding back and clanking of the wands because we are in Gemini season and Mercury retrograde. I feel that too. I do feel these are just guidance from my spirit guides and things are just a little haywire right now. The next card out is I have the Hierophant from them. Taurus energy. It is a major arcana about getting to that higher level of commitment, belief, faith. And the last card out from my spirit guides is the Six of Cups. This is telling me to tell you that this is a connection. It's a beautiful connection. Whoever you met or whoever you're with, this is kindred spirits. This is somebody you may have feel that, that you've known them for a long time or could be with somebody you've known for a long time. And we are going to get to that higher level of commitment and spirituality with that person. But in the beginning right now, I think my spirit guides want me to tell you that we do have the Gemini card showing up and things are a little crazy right now. But the Seven of Wands is about battling things that are constantly coming at you and holding back. I think they're just telling you, wait till this energy subsides. It's going to subside because the big hierophant showing up with a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful connection. These are my last two cards. Beautiful reading, Sagittarians. If you got some messages out of this, please let me know. You know, please uh, leave me a comment, subscribe, like. I would be very grateful. It helps my channel. I'm going to get one or two messages for you from the Archangel Tarot cards from my spirit guide. It usually ties it together. What do you want to tell Sagittarians today? Spirit guides, one or two messages. What do you want to say to my Sagittarians? Thank you. That's all I hear, just the one. I'll take it. I have the Eight of Gabriel. This is the card they gave me to give to you as a message. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. There we go. I think they just want me to tell you with this going on right here, there will be a great deal of activity going on. It's the Gemini season. Things are going to change because once they switch over after the 22nd, sudden and immediate results important communication and then I have these last two cards out that Hierophant with that beautiful six of cups connection beautiful reading Sagittarians if you guys enjoyed it you know what to do thank you for viewing me today and have a wonderful wonderful day thank you